Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Nazim Adil bin Ahmad Niza And my metric number is 222789 And my teammates are Nazhan, Naufal and Nazran And we will be presenting for the objective physics video How the defibrillator works And what is the concept and the physics that apply in the defibrillator itself Firstly, we need to know what is a defibrillator. A defibrillator is a medical device used by a medical expert to deliver a, an electrical shock to the heart. So, the people who have a cardiac arrest such as ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia under the scope of cardiac arrhythmia can restore to its normal rhythm um, from a heart that is top pumping. So, after a short brief about what is a defibrillator, you must be wondering who uses it? Who uses the defibrillators? Defibrillators basically used by the medical experts such as nurses, doctors and paramedics etc etc. But they use uh, experts defibrillators that is taught in the hospital. In the, in the defibrillator itself, it has a two type. One is expert defibrillators and one is a automated external defibrillators which is, it can be used by a people like me, a people like you because it contains a very easy and step-by-step -step guide how to use a defibrillator. So, let me tell you how defibrillators works. Defibrillators comes with a pedals and electro pads with, that we need to attach to our body in order to help the device scan our body whether we need an electric shock or not. Okay, secondly, after the scanning process, uh, the device itself will make a decision whether we need an electric shock or not. If the decision is no, you don't need an electric shock, you need to perform the CPR, basically, and just normally doing a CPR. But if the decision is yes, you need an electric shock, you need to still perform a CPR, but stops when the device is ready to give an electric shock. So, what is the intent of doing an electric shock? It is to depolarize the heart muscle cells so it can pump normally to our body and makes us function normally as usual. Now, let's hear what my friend Naufal and Nazhan going to say about the physics behind the defibrillator. Thank you Nazim. The first physics behind the defibrillator can be seen in chapter 22.3. Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law is a fundamental principle in electrostatics that describes the force between two electric charges. It states that the force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of their magnitudes and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Mathematically, Coulomb's law is expressed as the formula below. In the context of the defibrillator, Coulomb's law have helps determine the appropriate strength of the electric field needed to restore the heights of normal rhythm. By considering the charges involved and the distance between electrodes and the heart, medical professionals can calculate the magnitude of the shock required for effective defibrillation. They can adjust the voltage and charge parameters for the defibrillator to ensure that the force exerted on the charge within the heart is sufficient to restore the normal electrical activity. So next, we move on to chapter 22.5, Electric Field Lines. Electric Field Lines are a visualization tool used to understand the distribution and intensity of electric field created by the defibrillator. Electric Field Lines are imaginary lines that represent the direction and strength of the electric field at various points in space. The density of the field lines indicates the magnitude of the electric field with closer lines indicating a stronger field. In the context of a defibrillator, analyzing electric field lines helps medical professionals ensure optimal electrode placement and the effective delivery of the electric shock to the heart. By observing the pattern of electric field lines, they can identify areas of high and low field strength allowing them to position the electrodes in a manner that maximizes the coverage of the heart and ensures that the electric field is concentrated in the design region. Next, we can refer to chapter 24.1, Electric Potential and Potential Difference. 
Electric potential, also known as voltage, represents the amount of electric potential energy per unit charge. In the case of a defibrillator, electric potential plays a crucial role in delivering the necessary energy to reset the heart's rhythm. Potential difference, often referred to as voltage difference, is the measure of the difference in electric potential between two points. Defibrillators create a potential difference between the electrodes to deliver the required energy. The potential difference determines the strength of the electric field and the magnitude of the electric shock delivered to the heart. Higher potential differences result in stronger electric fields and more significant electrical stimuli. Understanding electric potential and potential difference is crucial in optimizing the design and operation of a defibrillator. Medical professionals utilize their knowledge of this concept to adjust the device parameters, such as voltage and charge, to deliver an electric shock that is both effective and safe for the patient. Next up, I will pass to Nazhan to explain more about the physics behind the defibrillator. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Nazai. My machine number is 222785. And I will explain about the other concept in physics in the defibrillator. So we move on to electric current. Electric current is the flow of electric charges through a conducting medium. In the defibrillator, it plays a crucial role in resetting the heart rhythm by inducing current flow through the cardiac tissue. This stimulates the heart cells and helps restore the electrical activity. Understanding electric current is vital for medical professionals operating a defibrillator to as assess shock effectiveness, achieve desired electrical response, monitor current for safety, and prevent harm to the patient. So, we move on to the next point for resistance. Resistance is the property of a material that handles electrical current flow. In the defibrillator, resistance of the cardiac tissue and electrodes directly influence current flow during defibrillation. High resistance can reduce effectiveness while low resistance can cause harm. Medical professionals consider resistance to optimize current delivery by adjusting energy settings, compensating for tissue variations and improving electrode placement for efficient defibrillation. So we move on to the points number six, electromotive force. Electromotive force also known as EMF, is the driving force behind electric current flow. In a defibrillator, it generates the high voltage shock needed to defibrillation. EMF is typically produced by an internal power source like a battery or capacitor. Understanding EMF is crucial for medical professionals to ensure sufficient energy for effective shocks. Consider energy storage capacity and avoid risk associated with high EMF levels. Monitoring and adjusting EMF and energy settings allow for successful defibrillation while prioritizing patient safety. 4. In summary, understanding electric current, resistance and electromotive force is very crucial from, for medical professionals operating a defibrillator. These concepts allow them to optimize the shock delivery, assess the effectiveness of the procedure, and ensure, ensure patient safety during defibrillation. By considering these principles, they can effectively restore heart's rhythm and improve patient outcomes in critical situations. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
My name is Muhammad Nazran Milotwan and my metric number is 222794. Defibrillators are found in various healthcare settings including hospitals, clinic, ambulance and other emergency medical services vehicle. AED can also be located in public areas such as airport, shopping malls, sport arena and workplaces for quick access in case of cardiac emergency. Defrag defibrillators are used when a person experiences sudden cardiac arrest, a condition in which the heart suddenly stops beating effectively. From defibrillation, is critical for increasing the chances of survival. AED are designed to be used as soon as possible after cardiac arrest occur. The purpose of defibrillator is to restore a normal heart rhythm by delivering an electrical shock to the heart. The shock interrupts the chaotic electrical activity in the heart and allows the heart's natural pacemaker to re-establish a coordinated heartbeat. Early defibrillation is crucial as it can significantly improve the chances of successfully resuscitating a person experiencing sudden cardiac. Defibrillators are used to treat life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias by delivering controlled electrical shock to the heart, restoring its normal rhythm and improving blood circulation. Their accessibility, ease of use, and ability to rapidly intervene in emergencies have made defibrillators a crucial component of emergency medical care, increasing the, su the survival rate for individuals experiencing cardiac arrest. That's all from us. Thank, Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Sir. Bye.